Yo, what's going on? I'm Jay Carter Ray from jaycarterray.com teaching you how to be better at YouTube marketing, online business and music production. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to connect and enable your MIDI keyboard because I just had to connect a new MIDI keyboard to um, FL Studio and it didn't work for a little while. So I had to kind of figure out how to make it work. So I'm thinking that if I had this problem, you might have this problem as well. And as I said before in my previous videos, I'm just sharing all the solutions that I've found to, you know, getting started in FL Studio right about now to kind of get other beginners like myself. I mean, I, I'm kind of a beginner onto where they need to be in order to be able to like produce beats and all that sort of stuff. So right about now i've got fl studio up and if we select this kick and i press a key nothing happens whatsoever nothing's going on around here Shit, you, you can't see my face can you because because of the mic position these days but I, I don't know what i'm gonna do with this mic position but let's get into the thing i don't want to waste your time um so in order to get our midi keyboard set up we need to go to options then midi settings and when you come here you'll see all the available midi keyboards and input devices and output devices that you are able to use within fl studio as you can see we have my audio usb um, midi which is my small one and then we have my umx midi keyboard which is my large one that's right in front of me here and when you connect your keyboard to your computer when you plug it in via usb or whatever type of connector you're using it should show up here it should show up here if it's not showing up here then you've got a different problem leave a comment down below and we'll try and figure that out together but when you actually plug your usb into your computer it should show up here and if you're not hearing it when you're pressing these keys then what you need to do is come to the settings tab you need to click on the correct midi keyboard select it and then you want to select enable so now we've enabled it if i press a key you should hear the drum Honestly, I'm not 100% sure if this is actually recording my desktop audio, but my last, the last thing I recorded did record my desktop audio, so I'm just hoping, innit? If you didn't hear my desktop audio, then you kind of just have to trust me. You just, you just got to believe me. You just got to believe me, cuz. Are you going to believe me? You should believe me. But that is how you basically get your MIDI devices set up and ready to go so that you can use your midi keyboard and start your production i hope this video helped you out i'll be sure to leave a variety of links to the different equipment and software that i'm using in the description down below and if you want to learn how to promote your music on youtube you want to know how to go full time on youtube make some money from your youtube channel so that you can focus on your creative endeavors like i've been able to do then i've got a free course that you can check out that basically walks you through the five most important steps to youtube success and it's totally free it'll be in the cards the description the pin comment all that sort of stuff just go to grow on youtube.com forward slash free course and remember if you haven't got fl studio that link will be in the description as well so go grab it and i'll see you in the next video when you'll learn more about music production youtube marketing or online business or and online business maybe i'll teach you about all this stuff in one video you never know i'll bring it all together but peace out i'll see you next time